Hey, what's up guys? Rave13 here, and welcome to another Gamba unboxing. Okay, hopefully you guys enjoyed that little mishap of mine, of me trying to get to the Hayakushiki here. Okay, let's get straight to this box, shall we? Um, what we have here today is the Hayakushiki Master Grade with the Balut system. I actually, um, I can't actually remember where I actually got this from. But I know for a fact that I purchased this through another seller, so another builder. Okay, what uh, makes this uh, Hayakushiki unique is uh, this unit was actually released back in 2005. And it comes with the Balut system. If you guys actually watch uh, Zeta Gundam, um, there were, their mission was actually to head to Jaburo. Yeah. So, um, during re-entry, the Balut system actually... Is practically a balloon it actually it oh, what do you call that a modified version of a parachute so there's a balloon there that protects uh, the unit and the pilot from getting destroyed from re-entry okay so this is actually quite nice um, I'm actually looking forward to it now there's actually gonna be some minus side and I'm gonna get to that once we do the unboxing here now for this side here, as you guys can see, um, we get the Balut system here. And it's actually at the back, same as uh, any normal parachute. But there's an extra system here in the, in the chest area. It is actually a separate pack, from my understanding. <coughs> Sorry. I'm still not fully recovered yet. And on this side here, we have, um, looks like some of the mechanics of the Hayakushiki and Char Aznable here at the far corner that you'll actually have to paint. Now let's go to the other side here. Now the other side, you actually can see some poses, which is not bad. And it comes with uh, some bazookas and a beam rifle and a beam saver also. Um, it looks like there's some markings in here, which is typical of a master grade. And um, more parts here. Okay, I don't know what actually this means, uh, this uh, yellow box here. Me, I'm guessing it's a separate part. You may be able to purchase this. W system in Japan possibly and now you get your basic warning here Japanese and uh, your basic price tag so the last four digit it says uh, 4,000 4, yen that's how I base on so this is roughly around 45 Canadian dollars or more depending on the seller not including shipping and handling now at the back, it's actually quite unique also. You have the Hayakushiki with the Balut and posing, uh, overlooking the earth. You even, you even got this, uh, the Balut separately here. And it looks like you actually get the thrusters up front also. It actually shows uh, some animation and then the other kits here. You get the Mark II. A Yuga version, you get the Rick Diaz, you get the Hayakushiki, the Zeta Gundam, and you even got the Titans version of the Gundam Mark II, Hyzak, and the basic uh, Rick Diaz. I can actually tell the difference because this one here is the Rick Diaz in this um, by the Bandai logo here. It's actually darker color, while uh, Char's uh, Rick Diaz is actually get more color okay now let us do the unboxing shall we okay so I've already went ahead and opened up the packaging here um, what we have here is frame a okay it's actually a darker reddish color as you guys can see this one is actually dark blue which is not bad yeah really nice okay 
Now the next part is uh, frame B. Okay, so this is the bad news here. As you guys can see, it's actually yellow and not gold. Actually, I'm quite happy that it is not gold plated because um, the gold plate ain't actually the best in my opinion. Okay, not bad. So uh, one thing I uh, actually am noticing right now is the lack of uh, scribes here, as you guys can see that. Yeah, we get the, um, this is uh, what do you call that, the front uh, skirt here. In the back skirt, there's uh, barely any waist and some of them looks like pre-molded. So this uh, Hayaku Shiki version is an old version, the first gen Hayaku Shiki Master Grade. I believe 2005 okay let's get on to the next one here shall we okay so I've opened up the rest of the packaging here for faster time okay so uh, we're gonna be focusing on the balut system first I've actually separated them okay so this is actually frame BA2 so you guys can see there there's actually some uh, panel lines here which is really nice it could use a lot more, but this one looks like it's for the back. Okay, which is not bad. The design here, there's actually some details. Some more details here. I believe this is for the trusters. Okay, and there are there's the trusters there, just very basic. One collar. I'm gonna go with um, a light. Uh, the color here is more like close to a grayish bluish color okay the next one is uh, frame BA3 here okay there's more details there okay so at least the bleed system actually got some details okay now the next part is your beam saver the basic yellow and this is frame sb1 okay now the next part here is actually well let's go with this one here this is actually frame just trying to find the number BA1. Okay, so we completed the set for the bleed system. Now, this one here actually got more colors. Reddish part. This one's actually light purple. purple. And there's uh, the parachute system there. You're actually going to have to put some details here. So I might actually experiment on this one a little bit. Okay. See, as you guys can see, there's actually... No other details there. Yeah. So this is just pure white. Excuse me. And um, yeah, like I said, you're going to add some details. Should be simple enough. Okay, let's go on to the next one. And this one here is uh, frame C. Now the frame C here got this dark, dark gray color, as you guys can see here. Okay, not bad. You get your rifle, part of the skirt, back skirt. You get your bazooka there. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, the next one is... Okay, I've already went to this one here. Let's put this to a side, this uh, frame A and B. Okay, now the next one is frame E. Okay, you get your hands there. Some of the mechanics. Okay, next one is frame G, and I think this is, um, yeah, you get two frame Gs here, as you guys can see. 
there are no scribes not the barely there's almost an existence looks like this is part of the skirt hmm there's some work uh, to be done for this uh, here once I build this I think it's gonna be one of my pet projects okay now the next one is frame G again but with a lit actually it's the same yeah just a copy okay now let's go to the next one the last yellow piece here some people might say it's orange but I see this as yellow now this is frame D okay you get your uh, part of uh, the arms here the legs the wings and the beam saver okay now the next one is frame F and they are both frame F here okay let's try to take this apart here oh okay that was close success okay so here is frame F part of the legs inner mechanics now there are some details here some got me excited there for a little bit okay so we get two frame F okay now let's go to the next one actually and this one is another copy uh, two of them double and this is frame H okay you get the feet there darker red color okay now we get two more to go here and then we're gonna go to the manual okay we get the polycaps here just a lot of polycaps from A to X bad okay you got your this one here um, this is polycap L this one is actually quite common on the high grades uh, some of the high grade units uh, the master grade one uh, point I think it's point five uh, RX 78 that I got and uh, other high grade 1 100 scale um, wing uh, units got this one here so I'm hoping it's not the same okay now let's go to the last part here and we got the decals and the stickers and the dry transfer here as you guys can see there yep I'm gonna open this up later okay okay here is your manual here very basic okay looks like uh, this one here had been spray painted with a, a gloss uh, gloss clear and some added details okay now you got your basic uh, manual here you got your decals pl decal placements then you get your very basic manual basic instruction okay I'm looking at the uh, manual here and uh, so far so good okay so it seems that there's some pieces here that you're not gonna need and this one is in frame E and F and there's some uh, for polycaps also and it actually gives you some instructions also on the tools you need he actually they're showing basic scissors this one looks like uh, those non uh, what's that word I'm looking for again 
the one that doesn't have a blade. Okay, you got your tweezers, your basic uh, cutter. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Enough. Okay, you got uh, your history here. You get it's just very basic artwork also. Get your weapons and looks like there's some uh, detailed explanation here. I don't know what that actually means. More like uh, possibly the history of the unit. And uh, it actually shows you uh, when you're building the body which um, frames you're going to need to build. For the body you got frame A, B, C, E, F and some polycaps here. The polycaps are even circled which part you're going to get. And so are the other frames. Wow. This is actually the first time I've seen this type. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. I actually do like uh, some of the artwork here. Even though it's black and white. And in the middle you get your basic colored artwork with history. And units. And as you guys can see there, there's the after they did some work, putting some details. Not bad. Okay, now the next here, the leg unit. So if this is your first time building a master grade, you will notice this. But uh, the older uh, versions of the Master Grays are black and white and in the middle are colored. The newer ones is quite different. Okay, you got your... We finally reached the Belit system. Here's the weapons here. Looks like um, there's two attachments for the Belit. Nice. Okay. Not bad at all. Just look at that. And it even uh, shows you how to install it. Now I wonder if my Marisai and my Rick Diaz, I can fit this. Looking forward to it. Okay, there you go. So, is this unit uh, worth purchasing? Well, I can't answer that till after I build the unit. But uh, there's the unboxing of the Hayakushiki with the Blute system. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And if you're wondering what it actually looks like, my suggestion is uh, to check um, Gundam Info. They actually have uh, the series in YouTube, actually. Gundam Info YouTube. They actually got the um, Zeta Gundam uh, series out there. And so it's the Double Zeta Gundam. Okay, there you go. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, this uh, unboxing of mine, expect a, um, a full-blown review. If you guys got any comments or suggestions, leave it in the comment section below. That will be appreciated. And if you actually got an idea or a special request on the item uh, you want me to review, leave it in the comment section below also. Maybe you can press that subscribe button and that bell notification. I will really appreciate that. And maybe give, give me a thumbs up also. I appreciate that also. Okay, so this is Reef13. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day, good night, afternoon, wherever you are. Signing out. See ya. Okay, we are here at the Mall of Asia.